Hey, bow attack here with a, another uh, ratchet disassembly, lubrication, and reassembly. This is a Husky model CB45, um, 3 8 inch drive round head ratchet. It's from the uh, 1960s, late 1960s. It was uh, my grandpa's, and after my grandma passed away, I got a bunch of his tools uh, that she had, and this set in a box in my uh, garage for years and years and years now and I decided to kind of get it out of uh, the box and look through it and see what kind of tools were in there and see if I could get them cleaned up and whatnot and this was at the bottom of it and it was uh, all rusted and just uh, in a pretty bad shape and the uh, uh, ratchet part would not budge at all it was completely seized up so put some WD-40 on there and let it sit for a week and it just, you know, started turning real good and has a great sound to it. So uh, this is a uses a snap ring and you pop that off and the whole assembly comes out. So I uh, decided to pop it off and disassemble it and uh, go ahead and clean it up. And I threw it in some Evapo rust that I got from Harbor Freight. And... Uh, it uh, took all the rust off, shined it up real nice, and uh, after I took a wire brush to it and then brought it in and cleaned it off in the sink with some degreaser, uh, soap and water, and a nylon brush, and just uh, got it real nice and clean, and uh, cleaned all the parts and reassembled it, and it just it just is works real nice and has a uh, real good sound to it, real real strong and uh, you just it's the gears and everything look like brand new in there and it turns I was kind of amazed after how rusted it was and how old it is and how worn it was and how this would not even budge at all for almost all of that in there to look brand new uh, after doing all that so that's pretty cool so we'll go ahead and uh, get her disassembled and um, get her lubed up and get it reassembled um, just so you can see so take my needle and those pliers and get in there and get that snap ring and it's always a booger to get every time I gotta get in there so be careful about it flinging off so you get that like that set your needle noses aside and then it pushes out this way and this is in two portions right here so there's the inside of the gears and inside of the head and it looks those look almost brand new none of them broke so uh i was kind of worried about that when it wouldn't budge at all but they all look real nice so this is the paul and it looks real nice and the system is just uh, the lock work is just sounds brand new almost and uh, it cleaned up real good and this piece shined up real nice so uh springs and everything look good and the snap ring that's right there holding it all together looks good the ball moves real good and uh threw some uh, uh sockets on there to check it make sure it was all good and it works great so i'll go ahead and uh, take my uh rim oil and i go ahead and shoot some in there uh, and then take the one piece and Work it over to the other side, shoot some more in behind the pawl, and uh, get it all in there good in the uh, action. Get it all loosened up because I can't get my uh, old pair of underwear here, get off the excess. I can't get my uh, grease that I'm getting ready to put in there all the way down inside there so uh, real effectively. So I like to use that oil on a, a round head that kind of has the pollen and all the workings inside the ratchet rather than in the head. So uh, go ahead and get my grease here. This is some uh, Master Pro high temp disc brake uh, wheel bearing grease and I use it on all sorts of stuff. Had it for years. You can see how much is left in there. These things will last you for a life. One tub will last you for a lifetime. I use it on all sorts of stuff. Guns and tools and whatnot. So get yourself some on your finger go ahead and start uh, lubing those uh, uh, teeth up on the uh, the ratcheting portion and there's a lip inside there where this uh, top piece runs 
So go ahead and uh, get it all nice and lubed. And uh, then go ahead, there's another lip down inside here, which is where that runs at. Go ahead and get it all nice and lubed. And top of these gears, top of this gear right here. And uh, go ahead and make sure you get them gears real good. And, uh, you know, be a little bit conservative with it, I guess. You don't want it to gum up or nothing, but uh, there's quite a bit of workspace in there. So get it nice and good. Looks pretty good. So then go ahead and move on to the paw. The paw, I'm sorry. Go ahead and uh, get the paw all nice and uh, lubed up. And uh, you can go all the way around this here surface that runs along the... Uh, outside the gears you can see where the teeth make a little bit in uh, a little bit of scribe on there so want to get that good and lube so it moves real good get the top of this where there's some uh, working parts and you can kind of see one section of the spring and the other section of the spring right there and it works inside there and there's a little snap ring in there it holds it all together and this piece right here rides on top of that so want to get that all good and lubed up and along this here collar right here for the plate the face plate for the top of the ratchet body you want to get that real good because uh, the uh, snap ring is going to run on the inside of there and the snap ring runs on top of that then go ahead get a little bit more go ahead and uh, lube the top of this and the channel right there that rides uh, on in, in the that goes together like that so you want to make sure that uh, you get that channel real good and the top of that and looks like we're uh, about done uh, with the lubrication part go ahead and uh, close your tub back up set it aside and uh, clean your fingers off and let's go ahead and reinstall everything so I drop that down in there first and uh, goes in real nice and then I take and drop this in and it goes and then you go until um, you hear that click in and then it won't go anymore and then you face up so and then you know it's in where it's supposed to be uh, by just trying to turn it so that's all together where it's at and now the rough part of reassembly is getting this damn snap ring back in there so bear with me okay so got it in there ended up going and getting my uh, uh, snap ring pliers because it makes it a lot easier to put it back on so got the snap ring back in there and uh, got her all back together so let's go ahead and give her a test and that just sounds beautiful and uh, click back and forth here and between the two settings and it just sounds just sounds great those teeth sound uh, brand new uh, after getting all lubed up and the last thing I want to do is I want to put a little bit of oil right there and that ball working a bit go ahead and take my rag here and uh, clean off the excess of the grease and the uh, oil and uh, go ahead and kind of wipe her down and so sounds good lubricating it up cleaning it up and lubricating it up like that just makes it sound like brand new and you know I already have a you know a number of three-eighths ratchets but the fact that this one was my grandpa's and that it's so old and that after getting it all cleaned up and lubed up as nice as it works and the fact that it's uh you know <clears throat> back when husky was made here and it was a uh, you know good old american steel and from back in the day it's just a uh, it's just a cool piece of tool history and the fact that it was uh his just kind of makes it that much more special uh, and sentimental to me so uh, it'll probably ride in my main part of my toolbox from now on and uh, you know try to get it some use but uh, so I'm glad that it's uh, got a new lease on life after that so that was uh, 
a uh, disassembly, uh, lubrication and reassembly of the Husky Model CB45 3/8 inch drive round head ratchet. Thanks for watching. Bubba Tack out.